hello it's Sarah and today I'm gonna do an updated craft room tour hopefully from my desk this is different I'm on my small table tripod my mini D it says on it anywho that's the door you come in my hubby put a door on it this is an old living room well it's not old it's a living room but we weren't we never used it literally there was no TV in here there's a fireplace but it is my craft room and I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I came up here. No regrets at all. Love it. Um, just going to show you this. The light is bright because of the window so I'm dipping down a little. This, this I'm doing this because um, Peggy had messaged me um, about storing when you do so many different crafts how do you keep track of where you store things for each specific craft? Like say brads. Do you keep them in your paper crafting section or do you keep them in your claying section if you want to embed them in clay? And it got me thinking. And so uh, over the weekend I reorged and really I de-stashed but I didn't, I haven't sold anything and I really probably should. And it's not that I'm a hoarder, it's just that I always think I'm going to use it at some point and um, but that being said I don't like clutter I don't feel comfortable in clutter and it's not inspiring for me and so I was becoming overwhelmed and um, anywho uh, my hubby was off for two weeks by the way and that's where I've been we've just been hanging out and doing stuff together um, he's back to work today he's very sad uh, <laughs> anywho so let's start so this is the front of my house those two I have a lot of windows in here that was the one downfall and so in order to make it work you just make it work but I also love the windows they're you know they're good and bad but this little rack here is kinda ooh the sun just went behind a cloud kinda random um, but I did just change it up a little bit on the bottom there that is all my uh, jelly plate prints. My jelly prints are in the basket and then below that in the um, the Rubbermaid bin is the actual jelly plate, um, all the stamps I use for jelly printing and I see that it's kind of bent right there. I don't like that. Um, and then in the basket next to that are uh, cloth pieces. Anything made of canvas that I was jelly printing on but then I decided to do uh, mixed media. So I, I have those canvas pieces that I painted those are actually aprons and I have some black bags um, so that's kinda good up above obviously it's one of those tool um, keepers and that's very handy like that has my wire my hangers my just any little doodah magnets and I mean I don't even know what's over there but it's a great little bin if I know if it's small I go looking over there and it's probably there uh, above it, I have a, a similar bin that I got at AC Moore just because I had a 50% off coupon. So I probably got it for like six or I don't know. I think it was like eight bucks if it was if it was 16. It may have even been more. I know it was expensive, but I got it for half off. Um, and little by little, it's getting filled as well. All right, now let's just move this over. This little cubby is filled with mixed media stuff. And I have pool hair, but I can go get in the shot. I don't know. I could zoom in, too, a little bit. But I can just tell you from here. This bin right here is, it has, like, mediums in it. So my acrylic inks, my gelatos, um, fabric Castell pit pens, anything, any type of media that makes marks on paper, that's in there. The second cubby down the burgundy one is little canvases, mini canvases, um, watercolor cards, things like that. Anything that you would make marks on. <laughs> and then in the bottom, there's more stuff like more uh, my paint brushes, uh, more mixed media stuff, if you can believe that. And then those are all mediums in that basket, like uh, gel medium and varnish and sprays and Mod Podge and all that stuff. And then in those cubbies down there, there's... Um, adhesives I mean it's it's unending like there's so many stuff so many stuff there's so many stuff I can't even deal 
Um, but yeah, but it, it looks neat and I know where it is. So that's what's most important. Um, in the top bin, it's just catch-all. That's kind of a catch-all area. There's my chair. Oh, and oh boy, this is as tall as this gets, so I guess I'm going to have to hold it now. But I wanted to keep a chair in here. Sorry, I'm trying to move. So I did, and I love my chair. I made my Tim Holtz pillow. And then this big cubby, I'm going to put this kind of on my leg and see if I can keep it. I want to take this, I'm going to zoom back out, I think I zoomed, I want to take that upstairs. I'm thinking I'm going to use, there's a wall space upstairs that I can put that. And I think I want to bring back, I want because that's the fireplace behind there. And we don't use the fireplace, that's fine, but I, I think it's just overwhelming me having that there. It, it seems too cluttered for some reason, even though it's not cluttered and it's neat. Like, I can't explain it. Um, but it is completely organized and I know where everything is. Um, it's a lot of claying stuff. And, you know, Peggy, I, I don't think I've answered your question yet, but I think... I'm going to do that in a different video, honestly, because, uh, yeah, I think I can get into more detail. Um, that is, so it's just substrates for claying, uh, molds, stamps. Um, look, there's a thing of seed beads, and I have sequins and glitter, like way too many sequins and way too much glitter, if you ask me, and I know, how can you have too much glitter? Um, there's random stuff in that bin over there, this bin, which is kind of like votives and uh, picture stands, like stands and just stuff, you know, that you accumulate. Uh, my Dremel's over there. So it's all neat and organized, and then this over here is all beads. I'm going to shoot, try, try to shoot down away from the window. Uh, that is all my beads, and I'm not using that at the moment either. And to answer your question, Peggy, anything that I would use with clay, it's out of there already. I've already pulled it out. I've looked through everything and decided, what I do I want to use this with clay, or is this a strictly a beading thing, like for jewelry or... You know, I have my giant, uh, I don't even <laughs> remember what they're called, uh, but their bead dangles are huge. Um, anywho, I've already pulled it out. So, for the most part, things are organized by medium. And if, like in that corner thing, that's called, um, that was all uh, planner supplies, right? When I thought I was going to do planner, which I don't do. So that thing is filled with planner supplies. So there's probably a few brads in there, um, just because I, I don't know why. I didn't know where else to throw brads. But they're not necessarily the brads that I would use in clay, so I left them in there. And that's not to say that one day I might not go through that again and find and think, oh yeah, I'm going to use this in clay. But I have so many things that I've specifically bought to use with clay that I don't need to go through any other things. Do you know what I mean? But because I've already done it. I've already pulled everything out of other uh, media to, to use for clay. So then the last cubby is behind the door. Um, I'm plugged in over here. I'm going to unplug. We have 16 minutes, it says. Um, so behind here, this whole thing, I'm going to sit in my chair. That is all my stamping and paper crafting. And the lighting is terrible. But... That's all, let's see, I can see it says um, Stampendous, Julie Nutting, Lawn Fawn. Those are all in the like shoe boxes, all my stamps. Um, what is, I can't see it. I'm sorry. Uh, alterations dies, Penny Black stamps. That's ribbon and flowers. I just took two of those red things and combined them into one. Um, and I probably won't be using them very much. That's all like composition books and corrugated cardstock and stuff that I use for, I've covered the books with all types. I always make book covers. So, I mean, um, alter, I alter the composition books. That's what I'm trying to say. There's punches in there. Some punches. I don't, I have more. 
that's all Tim Holtz ideology and that sucker is filled I have so much stuff um, and more dies like the Sizzix dies and all that stuff um, spellbinder dies and uh, embossing folders my Cricut my little Cricut embossing machine is behind that um, that's all Christmassy type paper crafting stuff and I don't even know it. oh that's embossing powder and I don't know what's in the bottom one so it's pretty I mean I love the you know what I've I love like do you realize I've made everything in here like I mean not the lamp obviously and not that little angel in the middle I bought her but like pretty much I've painted or made everything like the stained glass angel the dangles like look up here let's try and get out of that sun but this whole thing, I've made all that, let's see, and then I reorg this shelf because I love my topiaries and I didn't feel like they were getting showcased enough. But those are all topiaries I've made, my art dolls. That little um, Uncle Sam, my husband's Uncle Bill carved him and then I painted him. And I love him. But like, and these little bottles, these are the bottles of Hope and Clay, and then I just altered those bottles. But the only thing, I'm going to take that picture down eventually, and I want to put a quilt up there. So I want to make a little quilt, something, I think I want to put it, some type of um, applique on it. See, look, I put create. Um, so yeah, that's a, my, I have a plan for that. So that's why I really got to get my sewing machine back out. It, it helps me if it's out and, and I can walk away from it and go back to it. And I didn't want to do that in my dining room. I want to leave my dining room for other people to put their crap. I didn't want to have a, you know, take another room over. Um, made the pillow. But, like, I mean, that stained glass. Sorry, I just love it. Like, oop, hello, there I am. That mirror frame. I painted, the like, everything. There's another topiary. That's my, uh my painting angel and just all that stuff I actually remember the lamp I got that and then Joe and I fixed it and painted it and fixed it so that was a little project these tables and just everything it's so fun to come in here and then all the stuff on the walls there's my S oh I didn't even do this part yet but like this is stuff that when I used to do swaps so, like, this one I think is from, I can't remember, I can't remember who they're from, but isn't it Gorge? Um, I've made a lot of them, though. I've made a lot of them. Um, one's from Miss D, that's from Miss D, that's from Miss D, when I did swaps with her with my art, art blocks. This actually I got at a craft show. I just thought it was super cool with all the shells. Um... And that's my Tim Holtz stuff that I made. Hey, my mom. That's my mom up there. Hey, mom. Um, but yeah, I just, I realized that, like, I have made all this stuff in here. It's so cool. So some of it um, I keep, obviously. I have to hold on to it. I told you. It feels like they're all my babies. Um, you know, and some of it, it'll go eventually. Uh... But like this, even this, I wanted to show you this little, uh-oh, charge the battery. It seems like, uh, sorry, I'm panicking. I'm, I'm panicking a little. My chair was in my way. I'm trying to find my plug. Hold on, sorry, hopefully. We're good. We're plugged in. This, it says, Sarah Hart Joe, one heart, one love, May 6th, 1989. But I cross-stitched that, right? That was one of my very first, I mean, obviously, it's pretty old, but I love it. Like, I made it, this is just a little, another um, block, whatever, kind of art block, and uh, just everything. I just love everything, another art doll. And what I painted, I've painted so many things, right, in my house. So let me sit this down. I'm going to try and show you my desk. Uh... See. I'm gonna sit in my chair. So I think I'm gonna do another video after this more in detail um, about my desk area because I have a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about 
Um, eh, it's, it's hard to shoot, but this is obviously you want your desk to be inviting and I can't, when there's stuff all over my desk, it, it feels, it doesn't help. It's not inspiring for me. So every once in a while, every week or so, I clear it off and figure out what I'm going to work on and then get messy. But um, it helps me to have it at hand. And so that being said, because I do so many different crafts, what do I put at hand, you know? So I think I'm going to come back and do another one uh, based on that because it's more about what's right around me um, in my craft room. All right, you guys, so let me just do a quick overview. That's the door. See, look, I just, and that's my TV. Joey, my husband put a TV in here for me. Lots of windows, though. And that was a fireplace. <laughs> and then there's French doors over here, so I can close those and, and be in here all myself. And then here's my desk. I love it. It's a, it's a great space. I really love it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.